Hello students, in continuation with my lecture series for AKTU Energy Science and Engineering for BTEC second year students, today I will brief you about the second unit which is nuclear energy. First unit was a very lengthy unit. Now the second unit nuclear energy is very light compared to your first unit. Plus, the questions asked in this unit are also very easy. Let us begin. What is the syllabus for nuclear energy? Nuclear energy, fundamental forces in nature. That is, this question has been asked in section A and section B, both of your paper. What are the fundamental forces in the universe? Section A, it was which of the fundamental force is the weakest, which is the strongest. So this is a very uh, favorite question and it has been asked. Once again, you are meeting quantum mechanics here relevant to nuclear physics. You can correlate once again, eigenvalue, eigenfunctions, which I taught you in unit one, nuclear forces. Section C, twice it has been asked, right? a short note on nuclear forces or define nuclear forces, their energy scales and structure. Nuclear binding energy curve has been asked many times in your paper. They are, expect you to draw that curve for the nuclear binding energy aspect. So this question has been asked. Nuclear reactions and decays, some very familiar ones, nuclear fission and fusion, that is the cause for the energy of the sun, there are few reactions and nuclear, nuclear reactor design, safety operations and fuel cycle. So in AKTU, you are asked fundamental forces, you are asked nuclear forces and you are asked binding energy and numericals on fission and fusion. And I'm sure you are familiar with all these terms, which I told you right now. They, they must not be sounding new to you. Only problem is that this is a theoretical paper and you have to write a lot in this paper in order to get marks. Now, what are the four fundamental forces in the universe? The four fundamental forces in the universe are gravitational force, which is the weakest force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetic force, and strong nuclear force. Their strength goes like this, from gravitational to weak nuclear to electromagnetic to strong nuclear force. Strong nuclear force is the strongest, but it is of very short range. Gravitational force is the weakest, but it has a very long range. It is always attractive. If you remember the formula, F is equal to G into M1 upon M, M1 into M2 upon R square. So it acts between two pieces of matter in the universe. Weak nuclear force is responsible for radioactive decay and neutrino interactions. It has a very short range and its name indicates it is weak. Electromagnetic forces. They are the cause of electric and magnetic effects such as repulsion between like electrical charges or the interaction of bar magnets. It is long ranged but weaker than the strong force. The strong interaction of nuclear is very strong, but it is short ranged. They are responsible for holding the nuclei of atoms together. Basically, they are attractive, but when they come very close to each other, then a uh, repulsive force starts acting between them because for a nucleus, the center of atom, we consider it as a positive conglomerate of charges. So when two positive, positive come very close to each other, they start repelling each other. Quantum mechanics, which is relevant for nuclear physics is that it is basically the science dealing with the behavior of matter and light on the atomic and subatomic scale. 
quantum mechanics explains microscopic phenomena in all branches of physics. Mechanisms which are affecting the nucleus, forces that are keeping the nucleus together. Quantum theory is also describing matter. You remember matter wave, properties of matter wave, both as particle and as a wave nature, the de Broglie equation, which is combining both of them. So quantum mechanics is also allowing the calculation of properties and behavior of physical systems. It is applied to microscopic systems like molecules, atoms, or subatomic particles. Remember matter wave consisting of large number of particles and showing both the property of wave nature and particle nature. So that is why quantum physics also holds a very relevant ground in nuclear physics. Now, nucleus have intrinsic angular momentum. That means spin, where you say that the nucleus is spinning on its axis and you get the spin numbers S is equal to plus minus half. So parity it is the fundamental property and it is considered to be more important than the nuclear spin. It is associated with angular momentum property also. So you can say that the ratio of total volume of a set of objects packed into space to the volume of that space is known as packing fraction. Negative packing fraction means isotopic mass is less than actual mass number. This difference is due to the transformation of mass into energy. Nucleus having positive packing fraction has a mass greater than its mass energy. It means that the loss of mass due to binding energy arrangement in this nucleus will be less. What are nuclear forces? Nuclear forces are those forces that are acting between the protons and neutrons of atoms. Neutrons and protons, both nucleons, are affected by the nuclear force and Properties of nuclear force are they are attractive in nature, but with a repulsive core. This is the reason that nucleus is held together without collapsing. Range of nuclear force is very short. At one Fermi, the distance between the particles in the nucleus is extremely small. The nuclear force is identical for all nucleons. At a distance of less than 0.7 Fermi, this force becomes repulsive. Nuclear force is spin dependent. That means this force is strong for particles for their spins. Nuclear forces are saturated forces. That is, they do not vary inside the nucleus. Nuclear forces are non-central forces. That is, does not depend upon the line joining the nucleons, but depends upon the orientation of spin of nucleons. So this graph is showing you a variation of nuclear forces as per the range. Examples of nuclear forces, the binding of protons, which are repulsive in nature because of their positive charge on large scale, this force is responsible for the immense destructive power of nuclear weapons. A weaker nuclear force can transform a neutron to proton and a proton into a neutron. These forces occur in many reactions such as radioactive decay, burning of the sun, radiocarbon dating. Let us have a basic look at the nucleus. See, it is consisting of protons, neutrons, all kept inside the nucleus and it is surrounded by electrons in their orbit. Electrons are not found randomly scattered. They exist in quantum multiples Q equal to N E, where N is 1, 2, 3, 4. So for N equal to 1, the nuclear electron orbit will be this. For N equal to 2, the orbit will be this. For N equal to 3, the orbit will be the outer one. So nuclear physics is dealing only with nuclei. 
the distance scales involved are basically of the order of nanometer or femtometer atoms are by and large governed by electromagnetic interactions nuclei however are bound by nuclear forces which are short range nucleus of an atom is composed of protons with the exception of h11 neutrons atoms with same atomic number but different mass number are known as isotopes and the ones with same mass number and different atomic number are known as isobars okay nuclear binding energy binding energy curve this has been asked twice draw the binding energy curve showing the variation of binding energy per nucleon with mass number with the help of this explain the phenomena of nuclear fusion and fission see this is your binding energy curve it is very important you need to memorize it and this unit compared to the first unit is comparatively easy let us have a look at the binding energy per nuclear particle and the mass number we notice that this graph increases reaches a peak value and then it is going this way that means the peak value the iron group of isotopes are most tightly bound here in this range are the nuclear fusion phenomena happening and in this range the nuclear fission phenomena is happening binding energy that means the energy produced when the atoms and nucleons are bound together this is also energy needed to break a nucleus into its constituent protons and neutrons consequently the energy changes associated with nuclear reactions are vastly greater than those for chemical reactions the difference is a measure of the nuclear binding energy which holds the nucleus together the nuclear binding energy curve is obtained by dividing the total nuclear binding energy by the number of nucleons the fact that there is a peak in the binding energy here this is the region of stability as you can see in this diagram around iron it means that either the break up of heavy nuclei or the combining of the lighter nuclei will yield nuclei which are most tightly bound the binding energy of nucleons are in the range of millions of electron volt compared to tens of electron volt whereas an atomic transition might emit a photon the iron limit the build up of heavier elements in the nuclear fusion process in stars is limited to elements below iron since the fusion of iron would subtract either energy rather than provide it and the conversion between mass and energy is most identically represented by the mass energy equivalence given by albert einstein e equal to mc square where m is that mass of matter which has been converted c is the speed of light in vacuum a variety of units commonly used for nuclear binding energy include electron volts with a uh, one electron equaling the amount of energy necessary to move the charge of an electron across an electric potential very simple numericals are asked calculate the binding energy per nucleon for an alpha particle whose mass defect is calculated as 0.0292 atomic mass unit one atomic mass unit is equal to 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg mass defect comes out as 0.0292 into 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 
this mass gets converted into energy that is mc square where c is velocity of light so it becomes uh, this value into c square and you get the answer mass defect the sum of masses of neutrons and protons forming a nucleus is more than the actual mass of the nucleus this difference of masses is known as mass defect the formula is del m is equal to z m p plus a minus z m n minus m where z is atomic number a is mass number m p is the mass of one proton m n is the mass of one neutron and m is equal to mass of nucleus the mass energy relationship is e equal to mc square where c is speed of light and m is mass of nucleus this numerical calculate the binding energy per nucleon of helium the alpha particle to find the binding energy per nucleon we will first find the binding energy and then divide it by the atomic number so for helium we have atomic number equal to 2 and we put it in the formula for 2 for this plus 2 mn minus 4 he helium c square you get mass of helium 4.0026 mass of hydrogen 1.007 and mass of neutron 1.1.00 unit thus binding energy putting these values in the equation above we get this into c square one unit is equal to 931.5 million electron volt per c square so you put these values here divide it by atomic number 4 of helium and you get the answer nuclear fusion okay next lecture